Bro, I think I need to start making Karen videos, okay? Because there is a lot of them out there and I love watching the videos. I don't get me wrong, it triggers me because it's just it's just lame and cringy, but at the same time, I think I need to speak on it. We're learning more about the woman at the center of that disturbing clash on a plane. <laughs> Patricia Cornwall was arrested for allegedly Hold on. hitting and spitting on a 69 year old man. So, who is she? Cornwall now works as a realtor, but she used to be a raider at cheerleader. She what? Bro, me, I thought usually Karens, they, they, they usually just, it's verbal, you know, this passive aggressiveness. They call the cops, blah, blah, blah. They just. They smacking people now and spitting on people, yo. And they taking, this is the thing, they taking it to the next level, right? And usually people think uh, a Karen is just a white lady who playing police, you know, telling people what to do, what not to do, who they are, etc. Just being a, a, a bitch, annoying bitch. And people usually think it's against black people. Not always. They do this to white people too, like... It's not just a race thing. No, 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 no. They do this to anybody they feel like they don't like. That, that's, that's just them. She's also a former actress who appeared on Married with Children and Baywatch under the name Patty Breton. You won the bikini contest in Palm Springs last year. The criminal complaint of... Two and I'm not going to lie to you. They all damn near look the same. My Inside Edition says the clash started when Cornwall was returning from the bathroom and found the beverage cart blocking the aisle. The flight attendant asked Cornwall to find an open seat until beverage service was complete. Hey, that's my nigga, man. Hey, listen, he's invited to the cookout, okay? He says, see you Karen. First of all, have some respect, bro. He's 70 years old. I understand that, you know, your, your Karens like to do this thing to like, you know, 18 year old black boys and all that is not right but you know y'all are older than them so you're just thinking you could just bully them damn even 70 year old men are not safe we are doomed miller then go at it over masks when he calls her okay this is one thing i don't understand how are you telling somebody to put on a mask while your mask is here put on your mask Put on your mask! Do you guys see how silly this is? Her root name? <laughs> the police report says Miller I'm had so a visible injury. Cornwall then spit in his face and head area. And this is the thing, it's the old man, so the little contact, like the little jab, the little the, the little blow to his face is gonna cause problems, bro. What is wrong with this woman? I hope she went in jail, bro. I hope she went to jail. You double go to jail. Eventually, the Delta flight attendants managed to pull her away. Oh. Why is she so angry, though? I don't understand. First of all, okay, cool. Her excuse is gonna be it's a pandemic, it's coronavirus, we need people to wear their mask. Fair enough. I'm not even gonna argue with you. I, I, I wear my mask, you know, when I'm in public and all that. Fair enough, but let's be real. Let's be real. You yourself, your mask is here. So one, we have a problem. Second, we're on a plane where the person is eating and drinking. How the hell you want him to eat and drink with his mask on? Me gusta. And on top of it, if coronavirus is such a problem for you, if you're so scared of the virus, etc., etc., why are you so close to somebody who doesn't have a mask? Why are you face to face? Why are you arguing? You do know, like during speech and while we're talking, we exchange speech rights. So technically, if he had corona, you probably have it right now too. Was the risk worth it? It doesn't make any sense. Paul was busted by FBI agents when the plane landed in Atlanta. Good. She's been told she can't fly except to return home to Los Angeles. My face was cut and I had blood running down my face. I oh. spoke to Miller, a former drugstore manager from Tampa, today. Oh Can you believe you were punched in the face by a Raiderette? <laughs> no, I was very surprised. I did call her a Karen on more than one occasion <laughs> and... Uh, uh, my grandchildren can't believe that I knew what the definition of a king was. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So they're all giving that's, me high props for that. That's true. Like, I was surprised he said the word Karen because, like I said, usually it's a black thing, you know, black people call, you know, those annoying white ladies um, that name. But, damn, that's my guy, man. That's my guy. Legally, 
If I'm eating and drinking, I don't have to have my mask on. And you were wearing your mask at other times? The whole time on the, I mean, I just took it off here in the airport because I'm in the Atlanta airport now. But yes, I had my mask on all the rest of the time, yes. Like, my problem is, why are you so angry? Why, why Karens are so angry? Please, let me know in the conversation. Why do you think they have such a... They're so miserable. You have to be miserable to be acting like this. Let me know in the conversation. Like, the Mowgli does not understand these people's life. Don't get me wrong. We all go through tough times. We all are stressed. We all... That doesn't mean walking around spitting on people and punching people in the face. Well, you can't go to jail. I'm... I'm, I'm I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit mad because we couldn't see how this ended. I seem like, did, he, did she go to jail? Was she fined? How much? Etc. We would not know. But boy, oh boy, can't wait for somebody to try me like that. Catch you guys later for the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment for the algorithm. Okay.